Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole Vane, the owner at uh, Moonlight Beach Dental, General and Holistic Dentistry. And I wanted to share with you a really cool dental tip that I learned recently that I think will really help you if you ever find yourself with a crown off or a temporary off while you're out of town or on the weekend and you don't have access to a dentist or you don't want to bother your dentist or you don't have a dentist. This is a great tip. Okay, you're not going to believe this. You're going to use Elmer's School Glue. That sounds crazy, right? So here's how you're going to use it. Um, first of all, I want to say that Elmer School Glue, and it has to be the school glue, not wood glue, not super glue, not Bondo glue, but Elmer School Glue because it's non-toxic. So they make this product with the awareness that children are going to get it on their hands and eat it or lick it. I do know a boy named Zach when I was in preschool that used to drink it. So school glue is non-toxic. I don't know what happened to Zach, but I'm sure he's fine. So the reason it's great is it also has a very little tip on it, so it's easy to dispense. And its viscosity flows so that you can't really get too much in where it's going to prohibit you getting the crown back in. So a lot of the dental temporary cements that your dentist may tell you to get at the drugstore are really hard to mix and they're also typically mixed incorrectly where patients put so much in that they end up getting it stuck all around their teeth and jaws or they simply can't even get the crown back in because there's too much in there or their bite's really high after they get it back in because the cement is so thick it's holding the crown up. So the first thing you'll do if your crown is off is you're gonna try and clean it out as best you can. You can use the tong of a um, fork or a toothpick to scrape at the cement that's dried on the inside. Usually it's whitish in color. So clean out your crown and then go to the mirror and try it in. There's only one way to put it in. So sometimes people get them turned front or back side. You're gonna find the right way to try it in. So try it in a couple times after you've cleaned out the cement. And if it actually snaps back in, if it fits that well, you don't need the cement. But what you'll do is if you can take it back out, take it back out, and then you're gonna fold up a little square of Kleenex and bite on it so you can keep your tooth dry and moisture free. You're gonna take your crown that you just cleaned out, you're gonna put a little drop of Elmer's glue on the inside, go over to the mirror, take the Kleenex out, try on the crown just like you practiced it, and bite it into place. The crown should snap right back down. Again, the viscosity of this will allow it to flow out easily through the sides, and the little tip allows you to not put too, too much, so you're not going to have a huge excess. And it takes about 15 minutes to set. If you like, you can take another piece of Kleenex and wipe around the sides of it once it's into place. And again, let it sit for 15 minutes. It's not toxic. It's not harmful to your tooth. And it's really easy to peel out of the inside of the crown once you do see your dentist and go back in for permanent cementation. So I hope that this helps. I hope it's an easy trick for you. You can put some in your bag before you head out on a vacation, especially if you're going somewhere that's really hard to access, that you're worried about losing any dental restorations. And again, um, thank you for watching our video and I hope you found this helpful.